Hi, welcome to my YouTube channel 3D Multimedia. Under the NLP series, today we will be looking at named entity recognition NER. NER is a subset of information extraction within NLP that classifies named entities into predefined categories such as person names, organizations, locations, dates, and other related information. Common types of entities in NER we have person. So, in the in person, you will have names of people including their first name, last name or full names. Under organization, you will have name of companies, institutions, agencies or other organized groups. Under location, you will have names of places such as cities, countries, continents, regions, streets, landmarks, etc. Under date, you will have date, year, month, day, sessions. Under time, you will have time including hours, minutes, seconds. Under money, you will have Monetary expressions including currency symbols, amounts, percentage. You will have expressions indicating a percentage or proportional value. Under quantity, you will have numerical quantities including measurements, counts, or other quantitative expressions. Ordinal expressions indicating rank or order in a sequence. Cardinal, cardinal numbers such as integers or numerical numbers. Miscellaneous other types of named entities not falling into the above categories, which could include products, events, language, names, etc. So now let us come to the coding part. Okay, to use the NER functionality using NLTK library in NLP, we need to first install an NLTK library. So let us install this by using pip install NLTK. So once we have installed, now we will import NLTK. Okay, since this uh, NAR named entity recognition needs uh, some uh, pre processing, like we, we are supposed to do tokenization, then we are, we, we are supposed to do POS tagging, then at later stage you will be doing named entity recognition. So, for that, since uh, tokenization, tokenization process involved, so I am importing word tokenize from NLTK. Then, since we have to use POS tagging, so I am importing POS underscore tag function. And later on, since I have to do the named entry recognition, so I'm going to use any underscore chunk. So we know what is word tokenize. Uh, word tokenize is nothing but it's a function which is used to tokenize the input text into words. And POS, POS uh, underscore tag is, is a function in NLTK that can be used to perform parts of speech tagging on a list of words. NE underscore chunk, that is named entity underscore chunk function from NLTK that is NLTK's NLTK dot chunk. So it means it comes from here from NLTK dot chunk. Module is used for name entity recognition with a task in NLP aimed at identifying and categorizing name entities within a text. Let us import all this. Since we, uh, we are uh, involving tokenization process, so definitely we have to uh, download punk kt. So this command is used to download the punk kt tokenizer models for tokenization in NLTK. Okay, so once that is installed, we will be installing average underscore percepton underscore tagger since we, we, we want to perform POS tagging. So we will download this also. This command is used to download the pre-trained model for parts of speech tagging. Okay, so once this functions are downloaded, now we will provide a sample sentence. So here I am providing a sentence as Sundar Pichai is the CEO of company Google and was born in Chennai, India. And I am storing this sentence into the variable called text. Okay, so now I have to tokenize this uh, particular sentence. So I am applying NLTK dot word underscore tokenize and I, I am giving this sentence as the input to this. Okay, so let me execute this text variable and, and, and I am storing that. The output of this will be stored under tokens. Okay, so let me print the tokens. And you can see each word in the particular sentence has been broken down as individual words. Sundar Pichai is the CEO of everything has been uh, um, broken down. Even the comma has been break down. Okay, so once we have done this word tokenized, we have to correspondingly apply a POS tagging. That is for each correspondingly each words you will have their corresponding grammatical uh, categories like noun verb adjective okay so i'm going to apply nltk dot pos underscore tag i'm taking this tokens and i'm applying uh, applying that as the input to, towards this 
and I am storing that under tag. So let me print the tag. Okay. So correspondingly, uh, the grammatical categories of each of the words has been given here. Like Sundar, it, it belongs to NNP. Piche belongs to NNP. Similarly, the belongs to determiner. Okay. So we know what is NNP and P we have seen in the previous uh, video. So you can refer the previous video for uh, POS tagging. Okay. So let me come down a little bit. So once we have done the tokenization process and we have also completed the POS tagging. Okay. So now we have to import the necessary functions for doing the uh, named entity or for finding the name entity recognition. So here we will be importing this particular command max ent underscore ne underscore chunker. So what is this? This command is used to download the maximum entropy named entity chunker model provided by NLTK. And this NLTK is named entity entity chunker that is max ent underscore ne underscore chunker is used in conjunction with the any underscore chunk function to perform named entity recognition. Okay, so this function it it matches along with the any underscore chunk function. Okay, since we have imported it from the starting right. Okay, so it will work along with that to give you the output of any R. Okay, so let me execute this. Okay, correspondingly we have to also download NLTK dot download words. Okay, so this command is used to download the word list corpus provided by NLTK. So any underscore chunk function might internally use this NLTK's tokenization functionality, which in turn relies on resources like the words corpus for various languages processing tasks. This particular function will internally use the tokenization process. Okay, so it means the tokenization functionality means we have something called Corpus, right? Word corpus. So it has we have to download this word corpus. So once this has been downloaded, okay. So let, next we'll be we'll be moving to find out the corresponding name entities in a particular text. So we'll use the NLTK any any R classifier to identify the named entities in a text. For that, we'll use NLTK dot any underscore chunk, and the input to this is tag. The one what we have done the tagging right the corresponding grammatical categories so that particular tag will be given here you can see here this particular thing okay will be given as the input for the any underscore chunk okay and it will be stored under the variable named underscore entities okay so let us print and see what are the named entities okay so here we have this named entity called person under the person we have the name of the person okay again in the same we have person and the name of the person we are which differs as pitch similarly we have is the ceo okay here again we have the so these are not entities here okay so we'll be coming to the next entity we have organization we know that company and google they come under the organization Similarly, we have GPE, 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 GPE. We have Chennai and India under GPE. So, what is GPE? GPE is nothing but the geopolitical entity. Okay. So, here we have uh, entities like person, organization, and GPE. Okay. So, all these are the named entities here. Okay. So, now we need to remember that NLTK dot any underscore chunk function requires the input text to be tokenized and a part of speech tag. Okay, that is what we have studied, right? So this is like a note. You have to remember this. Okay. Now let us print the desired labels. Like what are the entities we which we have got from the sentence? Okay. So these are the entities which we have got. We got person person because we ha we had the name right, like Sundar Pichai. So Sundar was identified as person name, and Pichai was also identified as person name. Organization since uh, I provide Google right, so it was it comes under the entity called organization. We have uh, we have GP like I told you geopolitical uh, entity. Geopolitical entities means like uh, locations right. So we have Chennai and India. So okay, 
so in the given text sundar pichai the ceo of google was born in okay so this we, we have this text and we have already discussed right like the nltk ner classifier will identify the named entity and print the labels like person as sundar pichai organization as google and gp and nothing but geopolitical entity as chennai in india okay so if you want this notebook you can uh, comment in the comment section and if you have liked this video please don't forget to subscribe my channel 3d multimedia thank you